Unilateral renal agenesis was diagnosed by ultrasonography in a near-term pregnancy, which was associated with oligohydramnios. What is the most probable reason for the failure of the kidney to develop? Here you would thinking, be thinking of failure of the ureteric bud to form. There needs to be an interaction between the metanephric duct and the ureteric bud, otherwise they will not connect together. If you're thinking of oligohydramnios, well, the oligohydramnios is a symptom of the kidney not developing, not a cause. Degeneration of the mesonephros is uh, a natural occurrence. Uh, the duct can uh, be used again, but the mesonephros essentially in the male will get used in the testicle. The duplication of the ureteric bud is a simple splitting of that duct, and the unilateral polycystic kidney is an autosomal disease. A 70-year-old man has a 90% blockage at the origin of the inferior mesenteric artery. Despite the blockage, he does not have intestinal angina. Which of the following arteries is the most likely additional source of blood to the descending colon that allows this to occur? You should be thinking of middle colon. The middle colic will connect with the inferior mesenteric via the marginal vessels around the large bowel. In the small bowel, the superior mesenteric is connected to the um, celiac via the pancreatic duodenal vessels. And there's an anastomosis around the small bowel, which is called the vascular arcades. If you have a 55-year-old male who is an alcoholic cirrhosis liver, uh, and he's brought into the emergency department because he's been vomiting blood for two hours, He's had a two-month history of abdominal distension, dilated veins over the anterior abdominal wall, and internal hemorrhoids. Which of the following veins are directly connected to the branches that are likely to be feeding blood to the area of hematomesis? In this one, you should be thinking of the left gastric veins. And in general, the signs and symptoms that this man is presenting with is classic of a cirrhotic liver with portal hypertension and esophageal varices. Remember, it's the left gastric veins that will uh, drain the esophagus on the abdominal side, and it's the esophageal veins that will drain the esophagus back to the azygous system on the thoracic side.